your modeling career blossom during the uh, supermodel era, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was great, right? <laughs> yeah, that was great. That was fast. I was knocked off my socks a little bit because I was a farm girl from New Zealand and I literally was in New York three months and then I was working with folks and every month. I was I was 24-7 traveling, working girl. I mean, non-stop. Um, so it was like going from the farm girl and not knowing exactly what Vogue magazine was to really, it was, it was a real shock. It wasn't a culture shock that I was in America. It was a shock that I was you know what I was doing really how well I because I really didn't know anything I didn't know the industry I really didn't I hadn't picked up a Vogue magazine until I got to America <laughs> what is it you know the only thing that I knew about modeling was I'd seen a picture of Linda Evangelista and she did the Dolce Gabbana campaign I was like wow you know that that appealed to me and um, that was it that's I didn't know anything else about fashion so it was kind of I went. I was straight into the frying pan, really. But I'm still learning, actually. Yeah, it's really good. It's nice to be naive on some things. It starts in the beginning of your career. What you you have to look at the end for everything. Everything has an end, no matter what. Um, so you have to plan at the beginning for the end, which is really sad. Um, but yeah, we're short term. We have a short term career. Um, short-lived career we have to establish what we're, what we're going to do in the beginning or how we want to see that so when I started my career I knew that I wanted to um, my my family was into breeding racehorses so I wanted to have farm and breed horses and you know continue on with property and having houses and things around so I, I started with uh, buying a farm in Kentucky which now is a family farm and Spiros and I have just joined together and since being together we have houses in Los Angeles and New York and Greece and but I think for me it was like okay I'm going to it's it's ending I don't really want to end it because it is an artistic side of me that I really enjoy and I know so many people and uh, you know but now I have to think of what I want to do next and and that is really hard for any model and my advice is you think of what you want to do when you start, if you're a model, you think of it at the beginning of your career as a model. What am I going to do when this ends? You know, I have to think. Of, you have to think of it then. Like, if you do not think of it then, and you don't start saving your money and putting it away for this rainy day that's going to come. I mean, a lot of models just waste their money, which is very, very sad. And you see that they end up doing something they're not happy doing. And and you have to think about what it is that you want after your career is finished and start saving for that and which is what I did. I, I, I was well advised in my early career and so I started putting things, investing in things early on so that when it was the end I would have some savings left for my next move in life and my career. You're a natural businesswoman. <laughs> I try. I have, a, like I say, Spiros is like my, my support. I th I'm we get along really well and we do business really well and I think this shoe thing is we, we work really well together with it and um, and I don't think I could have done it with anybody else definitely not I mean I don't think I could have done it by myself and I definitely couldn't have done it with anybody else since, other than Sparrows. Industry, has the industry changed nowadays? It's changed a lot it's um, not as fun and as exciting as it was in my time you know, it's really not the same thing. So I'm glad I had my career when I did. What advice would you give to the to young girls who want to start modeling now? Um, I think you have to you have to be a little bit you have to be really strong strong in your head and your heart because it's a really demeaning uh, industry. Um, and it's really tough. And if you're not prepared to put in a lot of leg work literally leg work, running around, meeting people, casting. If you're not willing to put, to really work hard, forget it, it's not, it's not the w job for you. Really isn't, it's very, it's very, very tough industry. It's not as glamorous as everybody makes out. What do you consider are the biggest dangers, quotation marks, dangers, uh, when you model? Um, to listen to people around you. I think you have to keep your ears closed to the comments, whether it be good or bad because you can, it, both can be very dangerous to the ego and to yourself. It, I don't want to say it on camera, but it is full of, you know, 
that and and uh, no you should definitely have to keep your ears closed and just remember who you are and when you close the door in the morning and work out to your job it's different from when you close the door in the evening in your home two different people